we got a text from our neighbor that there was a fire. I was at my house, sitting outside, and the fire was big and fiery. The Eagle Creek fire has destroyed 33,000 acres, and it's only about 5% contained. Cascade Locks is on an increased evacuation level. We thought the fire was close to us, so we evacuated to my church. I was scared, like, if our house was going to be burnt. So we're entering the area where the fire burned. Sometimes people will think that an entire forest has burned because a fire goes through. You know, you see all the flames and the smoke and you think the whole forest got burned. But remember that word mosaic? Yeah, patches. Patches, like a quilt, where the fire kind of moves around and here it looks like it it thought about this creek. It was like, nah, too wet. See, see how the fire stays there and then it just leaves this whole patch alone. Like there's no fire there. I heard a lot of like little like blue jays and peckle, woodpeckers and a whole bunch of different kind of birds. There's woodpeckers. Well, um, we went across a bridge and um, you heard a little story. Who needs burned trees? The black-backed woodpecker does for grubs and other juicy treats. The black-backed woodpecker is an expert at living in burned woods. It was just great. I think everything I really loved. Like, it's a nursery for a new forest. They've even learned about a tree that can be resistant to fire. It's really cool. On, the, on a scale of 10, I say a 100. <laughs> it's over, it's over. Is that kind of like the best day ever? It's kind of like that. I could hear all the water and I could hear birds chirping and it was just calming to me. I was really sad, but now I'm not because I know that it's actually better for the forest. My favorite. Mm. You know, that's going to be a toughie. Like, everything was my favorite. Well, I'm just gonna say I'm happy that everything turned out all right.